All right, next up, Ezra. I'm Ian Griggs, and I'm the CEO of Hazarai, and Hazarai is an online social marketplace for all things geek culture, and stuff like comic books and action figures and video games, Star Wars, to name a few. And uh, what we do is we provide these fans and collectors and sellers of geek culture and geek culture merchandise with all the tools they need in order to shop, sell, share, and geek out all in one place on the web. Uh, pretty much a 24-7 comic. If you're not familiar with Comic-Con, it's essentially a giant trade show that's mixed with a shopping mall, mixed with an amusement park, and there's tons of things there. There's, there's products, and there's brands, and there's fans, and some of them dress up, and uh, some don't. But uh, there's really no shortage of things to see there. And the same is true online, which is why we created the Rack. And the Rack is sort of like a Pinterest-like component, however, just for the Comic-Con going crowd. And you can collect, and you can organize, you can share all your favorite geeky things on customizable boards, or what we call racks. And what's great about the rack is that it enables Hazarai to crowdsource the task of populating our site with content for our community to coalesce around. And we'll get to more of that in a second. The next big uh, uh, component of geek culture and Comic-Con culture is the commerce that goes on there. And we're uh, actually in the Tech Launch Accelerator. Before we started the program, we were already in market with our own um, website. It was a traditional e-commerce marketplace. And since then, we've given it a bit of a facelift. So you can still shop there. And if you want to have a storefront where you can sell out on our marketplace, you can do that too. Uh, a couple of employees. OK, so this is the big vision for Hazarai, is to create the intersection of community, content, and commerce. And it's basically an affiliate network the Hazarai Affiliate Network, or what we call the Han, and that's not to be confused with Han Solo. And it works pretty much like a traditional uh, affiliate network would, like Mission Junction or a Link Share, except it doesn't cost uh, $2,500 a month, or you don't need a million dollars in sales in order to, to qualify for it. It works pretty much uh, similar, uh, similarly. And uh, the sellers provide us links either on their stores in our marketplace, or on eBay, or on their own websites. And we uh, give it the old switcheroo, and we convert it into a trackable form in our proprietary system. And then we allow our users to go in and grab the links and promote them, either through their rack or other social networks or on email. And whenever something you know, somebody clicks through, if it results in a sale, they get a commission. Uh, Geek Economics 101. So our users are not geeks. They're actually fans. They're passionate fans of geek culture. They're 60% male, 60% between the ages of 18 and 34. They make about $55,000 a year, and they're not afraid to spend their money on their passion. In 2012, over $65 billion was spent in North America alone on comics, video games, and licensed merchandise. That does not include uh, movie box, off, uh, box office ticket sales. And the passionate fan, of whom there are about a million in America, spends about $1,100 on his passion every year, coming up, uh, making up about a $1.1 billion uh, geek economy. Uh, and that's our immediate service in the market of who we're going after first. Uh, so how we make money, we charge uh, subscriptions to have a storefront in our marketplace, uh, native ads, you can spotlight it, you can have promoted racks, you can have promoted uh, sponsored posts, highlighted posts, and then also uh, through a split, through a revenue share with our affiliates on the Hazarai uh, affiliate network, as well as monthly fees for stores to be a part of the network and, as advertisers. So our competitive landscape, and we're up there. And in the social sharing space, we compete against Pinterest. However, Pinterest is about 87% female, and their top four categories are uh, food, fashion, weddings, and recipes. So it's not exactly uh, speaking to our uh, user base, who's like I said, 60% male in America, 70% male worldwide. In the e-commerce portion, eBay and Amazon have sellers uh, buried in a haystack or drowning in fees. Uh, Etsy and Store Envy are two great alternatives. Problem is, again, they're very female-centric, and again, our target, uh, our demographic is at least majority is male. And that's really uh, evidence with Etsy. In fact, they have over 150,000 listings for geekery in their geekery uh, category on their site. But if you go there, there's actually no button to get to the geekery category. So if you're not looking for it, you're not going to find it. Uh, 
That's just another example of where they're being uh, underserved. Shelflife.net is actually our most direct competitor. They also are a geek first uh, uh, community along with a marketplace, but if you look at their marketplace, there's really nothing there, and I think that's because they don't really have the connections with the notable retailers and also the industry influencers that would put them on the map. And that's really our differentiator. Uh, we have Jessica Chobot, she's a video game, uh, notable video game celebrity, television host, she's an official brand ambassador for us, has over 140,000 Twitter followers. David Lloyd, co-creator of Need for Vendetta, he already has a store on our site, um, and we have a personal relationship with him, as well as Toy Tokyo and Tenacious Toys, two of the more uh, popular uh, online retailers. Toy Tokyo is actually a, a brick and mortar as well. And Stephen Smith from MTV Geek is also someone we have a personal relationship with. So, the big finish. The last, bottom line is, the days of being considered a socially inept nerd who reads comic books is over. Uh, like I said, right now, the geek population in America is currently estimated at about 10 and a half million fans. That was in July. In August, that number jumped to 11.7 million. It's only getting bigger. Uh, this is a culture that is ste uh, steeped into the mainstream. It's a culture built on community and a community without a place online it can call its own. Uh, it's something that needs to be done. It's something we know we can do, and that's why we're building Azurai for all fan content. Any regrets?